Welcome to video two of Be You Full Out, the Unity Consciousness event of the century. And so as we're embarking together on this second video, I would just invite you to once again take a stand for you with your newly accessed capacity to choose choose to get even more out of this process together. And so this is such a joy and a delight to be sharing with you and I'm just going to take a moment to tune in and to access the consciousness that is the potency of this video and would invite you to return your awareness to your signature energy, your energy print that which makes you uniquely you and yours. Great. Shinia hoya koyoshi tinia hanio koshiwa tiwa tiwa koyoshi Tinia hania koshiwa tiwa tiwa koyoshi. Tinia hania koyoshiwa koyoshi. We are beginning once again by encoding this sacred space together. Shiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshiwa koyoshi. This process is a partnership, one in which your signature energy is unlocking that which is uniquely you and you. Shiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koyoshi, tinia hania koshiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshiwa koyoshi. So turn up the volume of you being you. Shinia hania koshiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshi, koyoshi, koyokoshi. Engage and access more units of consciousness of you. Tinia hania koshiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshi. Tinia hania koshiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshi. Unlock that which is you. Koyoshi, toya, tiwa koyoshi, tinia hania koshi. And this is Tof that's moving more to the forefront of this sacred moment, this divine transmission that's purpose is to support you and being you full out anchored in unity consciousness. And specifically in video two, we are going to be offering up on the altar, the offering plate, the 50 yard line of life, if you choose to meet us there, to accept, to choose, to integrate, the opportunity to unplug from tribal consciousness, from separation consciousness, from the repetitive patterns that you are using to hold yourself back. Yes, so in order to really step up to the plate more fully, we are going to bring in more light and more light language so that you have access to more of you as you go into this process of unplugging from tribal consciousness. Tinia hania koya shiwa koya shi, tinia hania koya shi, tinia hania koshiwa koya shi, tinia hania koshi. And while we're doing that, let's speak for a moment about vibration, about signature energy. Tinia hania koya shiwa koya shi, tinia hania about you being you full out. About you sitting at the table of life, engaged in life. Everything in the universe is made up of vibration, of energy. At that base of the energy is source consciousness. 
Hakoshi, Tini Ani Hakoshi, you are also made up of energy and source consciousness. Tini Ani Hakoshi wa Koyoshi, Tini Ani Hakoshi wa Koyoshi, Tini Ani Hakoshi. Your signature energy as it's pulsing in its natural state, Shinyani Okoshi Wakoshi, is plugged into the multidimensionality of you. Shinyani Okoshi Wani Okoshi is in a state of unity consciousness. Shinyakoyoshi Wakoyoshi, Shinyani Okoshi, and broadcast an imprint out into the universe. Shinyani Okoshi Wani Okoshi, that acts like a key. Shinyani Okoshi Wakoyoshi, to unlock those perfect people, places, and opportunities that are yours to be, do, and have. When you're being you full out, there is this sense of just being at home. The sense of being centered, in the core of your universe. There is power there. There is ease there. And there is wholeness there. And so this journey into unity consciousness, being in union with you, is a vibrational journey. And that is why we are using vibration. To invite you, from the source to source, to take a stand for you in this incarnation, to be you no matter what. There is the understanding that you holding back is not loving to you or anyone else. There is the awareness that you are an innovator, a leader, a pioneer, that you have a unique contribution to share in this lifetime. And by you not being you, by you trying to be the same as others because of tribal consciousness. That which you have access to that nobody else has access to doesn't get access. There are lots of topics that we could have chosen in terms of accessing more unity consciousness. And yet we understand that you being you full out is the most efficient way. Even though we also understand that there are hurdles to you being you full out. Tribal consciousness, and what we mean by that is the collective consciousness or the morphic field. That this collective consciousness, this tri tribal consciousness, is based in the old paradigm of separation consciousness, of duality, of lack. And it's very much encoded throughout many, many lifetimes to be your primary operating system, to be operating from tribal consciousness, to be operating from separation, to be operating from survival. And the highest purpose of that survival at this point is to keep you safe. That's what, in order for you to really be you. And it has gotten a distorted sense of that highest purpose because what is being sacrificed is you being you in order to have the illusion that you're continuing to exist when your existence is never in question as, as a, to begin with in unity consciousness because 
you are eternal, nothing can be added to you or taken away from you. And yet we do understand that there is that sense of your existence in this incarnation, your physicality, your life, and your your thought of, the, of death and being in pain and some sense of danger. And this tribal consciousness has many different beliefs that are based in survival, that are based in, in that pattern in which it creates the process in which you give away your power to others. You choose not to choose. You hold back, play small. Try to fit in. What you want may not even really be what you want. It may just be what's been passed down to you from other generations or from the tribal consciousness. And it creates signals within your system that says it's not safe for you to be different. It's not safe for you to express your unique awareness of the world and the universe. It's not safe for you to be visible because if you are, then you might be kicked out of the tribe. You might lose love. You might die. You may be killed. You may be ostracized. You may not have a roof over your head. You may not have the resources to survive. That you will be all alone. That you could disappear. And then day to day, moment to moment, the, the play of life is played over and over again in a similar arena. Patterns are repeated. Thoughts are repeated. Projects are not completed. Dreams are not realized. And so we know that you are aware of your repetitive patterns, that actually you are a master of your repetitive patterns. And that there is more to be garnered from living in unity consciousness, a state of joy, a state of abundance, a state of wholeness, a state of inclusion. Then there is to be in another repetitive pattern, another moment of separation, another moment of duality, another moment of the illusion. And yet when you're in it, the illusion feels so real. And we know that you may have patterns in which you are worrying about something over and over and over again, or that you have a sense of really being afraid of something, or that there is just this tangibleness to that which we're calling the illusion, to you being separate from anything, because in wholeness, everything exists within that moment. And what we're really going for is not so much the outer state of transforming your life, although that does happen as well. It's the absolute dominion of your inner state, because regardless of what's going on in your life, and we really would love for you to hear this, Regardless of what's going on in your life, you have dominion over your inner state. You can be accessing the wholeness that exists within each moment, the bliss that exists within each moment, the choice that exists within each moment, the you that exists within each moment, the possibility that exists within each moment. And the potency and the strength of this transmission is really getting even more into units of intensity because that is the energy that's required. That is us being a stand for you. That is us creating this 
together with you movement in which we're inviting you to not give a shit about what anybody else thinks of you and to really be you full out, to do what you want, to go for what you want, because it is in that process that to thine own self you will be true. So now's the time to pull out your conscious choice, your capacity to choose to be you, full out anchored in unity consciousness that was accessed again in video one. Shinya Hanya Koshi Tinya Hanyo Koshi Wanyo Koshi Tinya Hoyo Koyoshi Tinya Hanya Koyashiwa Koyashi Tinya Hoyo Koshi Wanyo Koshiwa Chiwa Koyashiwa Koyashi Tinya Koyashi Wa Koyoshi Nya Hanyo Koshi Koyoshi Nya Hanya Koyashiwa Chiwa Koyoshi Tinya Hoya Nya Hanyo Koshiwa Koyoshi Tinya And as you have this choice, your capacity to choose, your capacity to choose to be full out, anchored in unity consciousness, your capacity to choose to be you full out, anchored in unity consciousness, your capacity to choose to be you full out, anchored in unity consciousness, you also have your capacity to choose to unplug from tribal consciousness. To unplug from tribal consciousness. From that absolute mm, connection to the illusion, to the old paradigm, to that which isn't true. To thoughts that you've taken on as your own to ways of being that you've taken on as your own, to all of those patterns that we spoke about, being so empathic, picking up on what everybody else feels and needs and wants, and going with what they feel and need and want in order to stay safe, in order to stay in connection. And the price of that is leaving you. The price of that is separating from you. And it's time, if you choose, to take the biggest risk of your life, to be you, to be you, to try it out, and to see how living your life from you, as you, and for you, creates an in-depth connection and inner dominion of your inner Planes. Chia koya tenia hania koyashi tenia hania koshiwa koyashi koyo koshinia hania koshiwa koyashi tenia hania koshi. Imagine once again that you're in the castle of you, hania koshiwa nia koshi, that you are multi dimensional, that you are source energy, that you are creator being that you have chosen to incarnate during this time in which there is an overlap in paradigms of consciousness. And so you have chosen to be steeped in the illusion. You have chosen to participate in duality. You have chosen to forego living out of the idea of surviving. Shiwa koyashi, tiniya haniya koshiwa koyashi, tiniya haniya koshi, tiwa koyashi, tiniya haniya koshi.
Rishi. And when you're in the energy of survival, your vibration is not shining brightly. When you are showing up for your life, when you are engaged, when you are really vibrating your signature energy, then that signal is so strong, it's so potent, it's so palpable that you are also occupying more and more and more of your territory, more and more and more of the space that you are, and then you have access to the divine gifts that are actually your birthright, the divine gifts that are anchored in unity consciousness, your divine gift of being empowered, to being empowered, to being empowered, to being empowered. And when you're empowered, and when you're living your life for you, there is so much grace that comes from that because you can be with others in the choices they're making from the solidity of who it is that you are and the choices that you are making without getting tangled up in all of that. So imagine that there are aspects of you, aspects of your unique essence that are in various rooms in the castle that are illusion. They are in the illusion. The parts of you that believe whatever it is that you believe, that you're not safe, that you're not worthy, whatever those tribal consciousness beliefs are, that there are aspects of you that are just over and over and over again, repeating the same pattern, frozen, stuck, repeating the same pattern, frozen, stuck, repeating the same pattern, frozen, stuck, and that you're trying to clear, get rid of, and Unity consciousness is inclusion. And imagine once again that you're stalking, you're hunting down the part of you that chose to connect, to live from tribal consciousness. Which is outdated. It is outdated in unity consciousness. It is not the time to be acting like a tribe. It is not the time to try to be the same as everyone else. You're different. You know you're different. You've always been different. And your difference is required. For it is through the difference of you. That you're streaming the divine source energy of you into your life. Modeling those that are not connected to who they are doesn't make any sense. Trying to fit in with those that are disconnected from who they are doesn't make sense. There's nothing to fit into. Being the, um, the center of your signature energy, your universal orbit, does make sense. And so now, just drop your awareness into a master cell in your sacrum in the back of your lower spine. And in this master cell, just go deeper and deeper into your awareness, into the cell, into the plasma of the cell, into the mitochondria of the cell, into the endoplasmic reticulum of the cell, into the DNA of the cell, into the RNA of the cell, into the nucleus of the cell, down into the place where there's only space, where there's only light, connecting to the subatomic particles, connecting to the field of infinite possibilities. Connecting to your Akashic records.
you are the center of you. As you're in the center of this cell, drop in even more deeply to the space where you're only light, the space where you're only love, the space where you're only in union. Tania hania kweshi, tania hania kweshi, tania hania kweshi kweshi. And from this space of the field of infinite possibilities, activate the possibility of unity consciousness, if you choose, and deactivate the possibility of tribal consciousness. Unmanifest tribal consciousness. Manifest unity consciousness. Through the manifestation of unity consciousness, tribal consciousness is included into it, so it no longer exists as its own separate entity. It gets folded back into the wholeness, back into the oneness. And as you're choosing to be activating unity consciousness, to be activating you as the center of who it is that you are, awaken your awareness of aspects of you that are stuck in the illusion and call back from this place of wholeness, from this place of inner dominion, from this place of connection, anywhere that you are in illusion consciousness to come back into the truth, into the wholeness of you. Shinya hanya koya shiwa koya shi tinya hanya koshi. Put out the call for you anywhere that you're plugged into tribal consciousness. Hanya koya shiwa koya shi tinya hanya koshi. Anywhere that you're lost in a room of illusion. Shiwa koya shi tinya hanya koshi wa koya shi. It is not truth. Haya koya shi niya koshi ti niya koshi koya shi. Call back your unique essence, your signature energy, your energy print from anywhere that you're tapped into tribal consciousness. Chi niya niya koshi wa niya koshi ti niya niya koshi. From this place of unity consciousness. Chi niya koya shi wa koya shi ti niya niya koshi. Chi niya niya koshi wa koya shi. Be firm. Be commanding. And if you choose, you can repeat this phrase. I call to me that which is me. 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 And have an awareness of the Council of Light, making available the Peace Ray. The Peace Ray creates an illusion-free zone. And send back to the source from which you came anything that you're holding that's not uniquely you or yours from past people, past times, and from the tribal consciousness. And knowing that that's been set in motion, return to the nucleus of the cell, your awareness. Return your awareness to the nucleus of the cell. Akashic Records, 94, 83, 67, 28, Starlight, Conscious Choice, Koya Tiwa Shiwa, Koya Shi Tinia Hania Koshiwa Koya Shi, Koya Koshiwa Koya Shi. It is not so much at all about resisting or trying to disconnect from something that you're not. It is about being in the dimension of you. Being in the dimension of you. 
being in the dimension of you. And as you're in the dimension of you, which is multidimensional, then that which had been your energy location is like one drop in the ocean. That which had been taking up most of your time and your energy in space is so incorporated into the wholeness that you're free. You're free. You're free. And so as this empowerment is winding down, we invite you to spend another few minutes in the nucleus of yourself, into the space where there's only light, where there's only love, where there is the field of infinite possibilities. Imagining that your body in this incarnation is like the nucleus of your multidimensional self. And just like the nucleus has within it the DNA, the inner library, that informs your body, whether it's a protein or a fingernail or different functions, that within this incarnation, within your body, is the nucleus of your divine source being, your multidimensionality, resides everything that you need that is like a hologram. Rest in the nucleus. Occupy the nucleus. Occupy this incarnation. Occupy this body. And as you do, you may have the visual or the knowing that you are in the center of your multidimensional source self. That you are in the center of being you full out. That you are infinite being because you are an infinite being. You are divinity is surrounding you like a hologram, like a globe, just like the cell surrounds the nucleus. Spending some time in that meditation, being in the nucleus of the cell, and being aware of the infinite possibilities around the cell, and being in the nucleus of your life, and becoming aware of the multidimensionality, infinite being that you because as we are on this journey of being you full out anchored in unity consciousness, what that means is that you have access to the wholeness of you. You are a divine being. You are brilliant. You are genius. You are all that there is. And all there is, is you. Taking the time that you want to be in this energy. And when you feel complete, Allow yourself to rest a few more moments more. We'll see you at video three. All is well and you are all.